Good morning, good afternoon, whenever you're watching this video, I just want to say I hope that you are well and I hope that you are having the most amazing day, whatever you're doing, you know, there's plenty of things to be grateful in this world, I know the situations might not look, you know, that great, you know, things might be looking a bit negative, but I want to tell you, you know, we can be positive in um, a world which is uncertain at times and, you know, you may be wondering where the video's been, what happened to... The daily vlogging it's been quite um a week i can tell you that um there's been i've just been off track a little bit you know last today i got my weight loss results but last thursday um i actually lost five pounds and i was like how did i do that i really did not know how i lost the five pounds it was something which was quite a surprise to me, to be fair, considering the week I've had because I've been, you know, not been on plan really the last couple of weeks. I've been um, just not focused. Um, maybe that's because of certain situations like my feet and stuff. Um, currently, family situations going along. That's an ongoing one. Um, but yeah, it's just been a lot of stuff happening in the past two weeks, which have been... I want to say quite challenging um, at times. Um, when you think something's going good, then it goes to totally opposite. Um, but yeah, so I lost five pounds last week. And this week I gained four and a half pounds. So as of today, this video is going up today. So um, yeah, that's I gained four point four and a half pounds today. So I'm a bit um, annoyed about that, but I'm not annoyed if you know what I mean. Because I obviously knew I was expecting it. Um, I knew that I had gained um i just went you know uh, today i went up and got just got up and went for a bike ride just because i you know the sunrise was coming up it looked really nice out at six o'clock in the morning you know i wanted to start the day right um which i did you know i went along for a bike ride today and it was really amazing i did like a couple of talks on the way doing um on my instagram and stuff like that you know encouraging others and i'm just so thankful for all the support i get on the instagram and i get on the youtube videos i know lynn and a few others comment on these um videos and it does really make a difference to my day just seeing that there's people who actually like these videos you know i mean didn't think people would like them but you know it's um a learning curve and i guess with the whole weight loss thing it's difficult at times so today i um Obviously, I weigh around Tony's. He made me an omelette and um, some mushrooms and baked beans. I had that, like, for breakfast. So that was quite a nice um, breakfast. I've been on plan so far today. And today I've had, you know, not too long ago, I had a bowl of baked beans with a little bit of cheese in it, you know, just to, um, you know, because it was a snack. I was hungry because I didn't have lunch because I just fell asleep this afternoon because I was so tired. Um, and I think, you know... Baked beans are good, they're free on Slimming World and, you know, it's good to fill up on and, you know, it keeps the stomach going for a couple of hours. Then tonight I am cooking a spaghetti bolognese, not a spaghetti bolognese, spaghetti and meatballs, um, which I'm really looking forward to, to be fair. Um, and yeah, it's just I've got to keep on going, you know, I've got to keep on pushing through to my goals and I want to encourage you, um, I can't really talk at a minute, but, you know, when tough times hit, you know, I want to encourage you to keep persisting with your weight loss, keep persisting with your goals because, you know, things may be failing around you, things may be not going so great around you, but when we get our eating right, when we get our uh, things right, it does, it totally changes the way your outlook on life because your mind's healthy, your body's healthy, your body's feeling good. Um, and that's a mistake I fell into, like, I didn't do that, you know, I don't want to say binge, but I've, you know, the last week or two, I've had some meals maybe I shouldn't have had, maybe meals which were bad for me, but at the time, I just wasn't thinking about that, and obviously, it, you know, obviously, you results are on the scales. Um, a couple of asked, people have asked about my feet, the chiropractor and stuff like that, it's all been... Um, it's been put on hold for a minute. It's been put on hold for quite a few reasons, but it's been um, for quite a while now. I can't remember last time. I think it was around my birthday the last time I went. Um, just because, you know, with my feet, they don't know what's going on. Um, they think it's plantar fasciitis, you know, but I've had it for four or five years. Um, so they're looking at could possibly the tissues. My blood results came back, as I'd said in the last video. Um, I've been 
low on vitamin D, so I haven't been getting the vitamin D I should have had been. So I'm on now one tablet a day supplement, 4,000 IU to hopefully up the vitamin D. So I'm on that for three months. So when the three month period is over, I will go. Um, I will go and get my um, results. Basically, get me tested and see how my bloods are then. Um, then regards to the actual treatment. Um, I am seeing a muscle guy as well, so he's doing like, got my first appointment on the 29th of March, um, which is the day we're allowed in gardens again, and see our friends outdoors up to six people, so really looking forward to that. So I'm going on the 29th of March in the evening to see this guy who's going to massage my calves, because my um, calves are quite tight, you know, the muscles are quite, you know, gripped in, and that could be having... An effect on the feet so we're just going to see like try different avenues see what works see what doesn't work we've done that you know see if, you got to try things um there was talk about me going for an mri scan but the thing is with that the cost is quite heavy especially private you know just because the nhs and everything the nhs workers are doing an amazing job and you know they can't really be doing the little things if you know what i mean um, obviously covid19 is for ultimate thing they're trying to defeat and get tackle so totally understand that so we're going to hold off with the mri scan and just you know do some bits you know do the massaging and stuff like that but yeah that's really everything about the eating that's everything with regard to the chiropractor and obviously and um last week i did you know i mentioned in a vlog that i was doing a sponsored walk i was doing that for young life which is a Christian organisation, you know, which helps, you know, young people all around the world, you know, if they're new to faith and stuff. And I think it supports young people and they go around talking in schools and stuff. And in Hartford, where I live, they wanted to, there's 4,042 young people in schools in Hartford, I believe. Quote me if I'm wrong, if anyone goes watching. And they wanted to raise £2 per young person. Um and which would have been eight thousand and forty four pound i believe quote me if i'm wrong and you know myself and katie you know did a sponsored walk we raised we contributed 245 260 pound it is now uh, which we're really happy about um that we managed to you know do our little part walk 5k you might have seen it on strava or instagram if you follow me there um so yeah, we're really grateful for the sponsors for that. So yeah, that's really everything really, what's been happening in my world at the moment. It's been a bit chaotic, but you know, from today I am, you know, going to get this weight loss. I am going to achieve my goals. I am going to do this because I want it for me at the end of the day. Um, there's also a um, thing regarding to my Slimming World membership, because obviously I am... I am um, obviously on universal credit at the moment, which isn't much, but it is enough um, to sort of get through, to get the bills paid and stuff. Um, but it's, it can be tough at times. And obviously the Slim World membership, you know, that's almost £30 a month, just under that. And it's something I am having to make a decision about whether I am going to continue Slimming World. I am going to continue Slimming World. I am going to continue doing an eating plan, whether... I'll be part of the groups for maybe four or five months or whenever I can get a job because I have been looking for jobs um, to do that. So that's been quite stressful as well because obviously I love Stim World, I love all the people there and if you're in my group, you know, I love you, you are amazing. Um, it's just the financial side of it which is getting a little bit stressful at times. Um, but yeah, we'll get through it and um, if you, you know, trust that I'll make the right decision between me and my consultant... Um, but yeah, that's really my life update really. I feel it was needed for me to post something like this. Um, just to post so you know how I'm doing, you know what I'm up to, you know that you know I haven't gone bonkers. You know I have gone bonkers sometimes of eating. But you know, that I'm still here, I am reading your comments, I am still uploading. I know it hasn't been daily, but you know, we're hoping to sort of get to daily again, you know. I might, you know, just start doing, you know from tomorrow you know we start daily vlogging again and you know because i find you know that does really help me um 
and I'm posting on my Instagram as well every day. Every what I think what I'm eating is going on Instagram, so it's more of accountability to, to help me when I stumble. And you know, I'd love to be able to help you because I can give it out. I can you know help people, and I want to help people. So just drop me a message if you're struggling. Go follow me on my Instagram, um, Daniel Adamson underscore underscore, which is my personal account, and Daniel Slimming World Journey, which is my weightless account. So um. Go and follow me on there, it's all in the description, TikTok, you know, you know the drill. Go and subscribe to this channel, put your notifications on, and I will see you very soon in another video. Keep on going, keep on achieving your goals, and let me know if there's anything I can do to help you. Much love, Daniel. Bye-bye.